Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So, in the past weekend we got some new cards that are going to be coming out in the Animation Chronicle 2022 over in the OCG. And with the early reveals, not only did we get some awesome dino stuff, which I'll try my best not to uh, talk about and focus on in this video, but we got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains deck that is going to be printed in the OCG and you would imagine in the TCG as well. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains has a plethora of characters that we are still waiting on to get their decks printed. Blood Shepherd, Bowman, Lightning, Windy, Earth just to name a few. And the final character I just named is the first of that bunch to have his cards printed, and that is Earth's G Golems. So G Golems have been revealed, and they are going to be printed in this set. The monsters that have been revealed are G Golem Rockhammer and G Golem Pebble Dog, two of Earth's effect monsters. And then we get to some big bad Link monsters, starting with G Golem Crystal Heart, which, if you did not watch Yu Gi Oh! Reigns, this is a card that symbolizes the love and admiration that the Earth Ignis has for Aqua, who is the water Ignis in that show. And Crystal Heart is, of course, a manifestation of the love that Earth has for Aqua. I also believe that it is the final monster that Go destroys and defeats before Earth is, kind of spoilery here, but the show came out five years ago, before Earth is killed off pretty much permanently. Uh, so that monster always reminds me of that scene. I think it's one of the sadder, more brutal scenes in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. Uh, but G Golem Crystal Heart is coming to the card game, as well as three other Link monsters that Earth used in the show. G Golem Stubborn Maneer. That's the only one of these four that I actually had to look up because I was not 100% sure if Earth used it, but he did in fact use this monster in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. And then, of course, the two that are pretty iconic, two of the strongest in terms of attack points Vrain's anime exclusive monsters so if you watch that video that I did going over the 15 strongest anime only monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrain's these two G Golem monsters are no longer really valid and that list is a bit outdated Link 3 G Golem Invalid Dolmen and Link 4 G Golem Dignified Trilothon kind of a fun fact about G Golem Dignified Trilothon when Earth summoned this it was in his duel against Go and of course that was his final duel. It's pretty rare in Yu-Gi-Oh, especially in Studio Gallop era Yu-Gi-Oh, to have a character summon a new ace and then ultimately lose in that same duel, especially when it's a good character. And in that duel, Earth was absolutely the good character going up against uh, a Go, a version of Go that was very controlled by Soltek. So even though Earth did bust out Dignified Trilothon, it did not really matter. 3200 attack, Link 4 monster. And then finally, Gravity Balance is a G Golem support spell that we are also getting. So I'm really excited to see a Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains deck come to life here in Animation Chronicle in the form of G Golems. But to be honest, there were a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains decks that I think I would have preferred to see over Earth G Golems. Lightning's Armadas Legios is at the very top of that wish list. I think even Bowman's Hydra Drives would have been pretty cool. I like the luck gambling aspect of that deck. Windy's Storm Riders, 100%. I am very excited to see. Even Vyra's cards, I remember the, the zombie cards that she played. I remember those were pretty cool. So there's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns decks that I think I would have preferred over G Golem. I think the only deck that I would have preferred less is Blood Shepherd's uh, Drones. I wouldn't have really been interested at all if Blood Shepherd's deck was the first one of those Vrain's decks that got printed. Uh, but, you know, G Golems, it's cool. It's cool. And now it just kind of thins the pack. And so if they look back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrain's and say, all right, well, what is the next Vrain's deck we can pick? That's one less deck that you have to worry about. At the end of the day, I would love if every single 
anime exclusive deck got printed in the main game, OCG, TCG, and I think this is a really, really cool uh, news article that came out over the weekend that the Earth Ignis is getting his monsters printed. But let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know if you believe G Golems are going to be viable at all. Let me know if this was an archetype that you really wanted to see printed, and let me know the next Vrain's archetype that you hope gets revealed and gets printed into the card game. I'm very excited to hear your thoughts on that. And as always, I will talk to you guys in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. A special thank you to my Platinum Tier Patrons, Panther J, Blue Maiden 28, and Jared Bueller, and to my Diamond Tier Patrons, Jesse Wood and Latrell Smith, and to my Egyptian God Tier Patrons, Kakapakapu and Sin Cloud. To everyone who supports me on Patreon, and to everyone who is a YouTube channel member, thank you so much. The extra support means the world world to me and it allows me to make videos on a semi-daily basis and I am forever indebted to you guys seriously thank you so much and definitely check out my channel membership feature and my patreon for some extra channel perks and thank you guys all so much for watching please leave your thoughts down below in the comment section be sure to check out my channel for some more Yu-Gi-Oh anime content and I hope you have an amazing day take care guys